Kennedy and Chekwu, man, very humble, gracious man in victory and in defeat, fighting out a Fortis MMA under the general Safe Saud. And the real story here, man, is this dude gets better and better and better, and he's a real force to be reckoned with in this light heavyweight division. Now, the other thing we have to take into consideration, Styles make fights right? And while he was getting dominated on the ground in the first round, we know Iwan Kutalaba is most dangerous in that first round. Come rounds two and three, you got to be able to build on the, that momentum. Do you think that if Iwan Kutalaba did not run face first into a knee on a shot in the second round, he could have gotten Chekwu back on the ground and literally rinse, wash, piece and cruise to a decision victory? Do you think that would have been the case? 100% Derek with the with the uh, domination he had in the first round on the ground it was really only leading another way the, uh, and Chekwu didn't really have anything to present to, to really endanger or sweep or even get up of any sort on Kutulaba man he was controlling him so I think it was headed there for the second round but like you said if you eat a fat knee when you're when you're shooting for somebody's hips it's kind of uh it kind of only makes sense you're going to sleep especially like I said with the power that Kutulaba has this dude's shooting in with some serious force and that knee is coming in beautiful beautiful shot and then i like what you said Derek. and check was really getting better with each fight under the mm -hmm. tutelage that he has man this dude is going to be a problem absolutely i mean he already is a problem right now and let's actually run through it really quickly man because if you look at his like the people he's fought it's not the you know the best of the best but he has fought some real underrated names right last two wins carl roberson iwan kutalaba that's fantastic losses before that nikolai negamedianu right that dude's a monster yeah he got starched in his last bout but you know what he's capable of and don jung it's another dude who is a complete monster in this division right other wins include danilo marquez no longer in the ufc carlos olberg that aged very well right there, man. It's the Black Jag right there. And then Darko Stosic, who is no longer in the UFC as well. And then another loss to Paul Craig. So he's been doing this for a little bit now, man. My question to you um, before we kind of move on and talk about a couple more X's and O's is like, what is the ceiling for Kennedy and Chekwu in this light heavyweight division? Like I said, frame is very John Jones-esque. Got to put a couple of the other skills together in terms of the grappling and stuff like that. Um, but I think he has very high ceiling. What do you think? I think he has a very high ceiling, but uh, if he shores up the ground game, because the only thing that separates him from that John Jones fighter is John Jones an all uh, an all star wrestler, man. So if if Incheku can shore up that ground game, I'm right there with you, man. It's very high ceiling for this kid. 100. percent I mean, listen, five and three in the UFC, four wins by stoppage, one decision win, uh, one decision win, and three losses, one by knockout, one by submission, one by decision. So he's seen it all, done it all, kind of at this point, man. Um, but more kind of getting into it, right? Over the course of a three round fight. What is Nchekwu more tailored towards? Three rounds? Five rounds? Right? Like we're saying, if Kutalaba did not run face first into that knee, this could have been a completely different story we were talking about. And we would have been saying, ah, oh, this dude needs to go back to the drawing board a little bit. So do you think that that fast, that slow starter, excuse me, uh, reputation that he has, did he overcome it this fight? I, I don't think so, man. I think he kind of stuck more to his normal slow starting ways, which kind of to me makes it think that he's going to be better for that five round fight. We were I was talking to my girl about this one. And the worst thing you, you, you want out there is you get tired, you get exhausted, you can't defend yourself. And in check with being that slow starter does have that because as much as he was controlled in the first round and dominated, I wouldn't say he was in too much danger of a stoppage. You know, we didn't see him take any real big shots. He wasn't under any submission threats. But if he can not throw away rounds, I think that would be a little bit better for his, uh, for his career going forward, man. Absolutely. And I will just finish with this one, man. The biggest piece of information or the biggest thing that I took out of this fight is that Kennedy and Chekwu was putting it on Kutalaba. Kutalaba was starting to wilt a little bit. He An inverted nut shot, right? And Kennedy and Chekwu did the one thing that you're like, okay, you're maturing as a fighter. You're starting to understand. He says, yeah, I got kicked in the nuts. But as soon as I did that, I saw a look of relief on Kutalaba's face. I said, ref, no, nah, I'm good. Let's go. Let me put it back on him. I'm not giving him any space to breathe. That's killer mentality right there. That's what you love to see. Big win by Kennedy and Chekwu. And uh, I look forward to seeing I mean, it sucks the circumstance for this to be his first main event, right? Um, but at the end of the day, I would like to see him in more real five-round main events going forward. So, all right.